Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Beginner Builds with myself, Jeff Sosa, and Frank DeLuca. Say hi, Frank. What's up, guys? So in this video, we are going to highlight Orange Energetic Mastery. And this mastery is pretty cool. Um, at the beginning of your opponent's first turn, you get to search your life deck for a non-infinite drill and place it into play. So you're able to grab a drill right off the bat. Um, on your opponent's first turn. So if you go first, you can go your turn and then grab your drill. Or if your opponent goes first, you can grab a drill before the game even starts, really helping you get a little bit of an edge on your opponent. Then we have two other extra powers on the mastery that use when you perform a success successful attack, you can gain three stages and raise your anger one, which is really handy if you're throwing energy attacks and need to gain some stages back. Or if you go a physical attack route, you can up your AT a bit before the attack actually hits. The second power is you can discard a, a card from your hand to perform a styled energy attack, dealing four life cards of damage. And if you discarded a styled card, you may raise or lower a player's anger one. So a good way of hand filtering, getting rid of dead cards from the hand, and just dealing an attack at the same time. Uh, do note that even that your discarding card to perform an attack, that attack actually doesn't cost stages. It is a free attack getting rid of a non-needed card from your hand. So moving in to uh, the drills itself. So of course you do start the game by grabbing a drill. So we have a couple drills um, that you might choose as your first uh, drill. We have Orange Possession Drill. Of course this drill is all about drawing your cards and filtering your hands. Um, of course if you discard uh, a style drill, you only have to discard one card instead of two normally uh, after you draw your two. We have Orange Entanglement Drill. You're probably not always going to be searching this one with the Mastery first. Um, it really only has... The, the main effect that you really want for it is going to be coming in if you've searched it uh, mid-combat, but it is an option, of course, as well, if you just want to be able to rejuvenate some cards. We also have Orange Steady Drill and Orange Burning Aura Drill. Both of these drills essentially accomplish the same thing. One stops an energy attack and one stops a physical attack. As you're leveling up and you're grabbing more drills, you're going to be looking at probably these other four here. Uh, I also actually forgot Orange Crying Drill you can grab if you're trying to really push Anger. But you have Orange Investigation Drill and Orange Examination Drill, both of which have a when enter play effect. Um, and both support Anger Gain or Anger Lowering on the, in the case of Examination Drill. And there's a little bit of Anger Protection on Investigation Drill as well as it being uh, tech against Wall Breaker. We also like to include Orange Intensity Drill. Now this drill is actually another way to knock off Wall Breaker. Um, it makes all of your style attacks still plus one life card, and you use it after you're performing a successful style attack, your damage is gonna be uh, unpreventable. What's really nice is your mastery makes a styled energy attack for four life cards. So with this drill out, um, you're gonna be dealing five, you're gonna hit that critical damage threshold. So at any point, um, should you need to deal critical damage, you can always discard a card from your hand to potentially deal a critical damage attack um, on the mastery. So really, really powerful there as well. And we should also mention for those newer players, uh, Wall Breaker is an attached card your opponent can throw at you. That's a non-styled physical attack that makes it so you can't gain anger. And with this build, we are definitely leaning more into the anger. You can run Unleashed in some other variants, but we felt for a beginner build that running the anger is probably the easiest way to go as you learn to play this mastery in the deck. And so for our first column, we have some recommended attacks that you do, and then we have two other columns, whether you decide to go physical attack route or energy attack route. But regardless, we feel that these are some staple cards that you should put into the deck. Starting with Orange Stretch, just a physical attack that gains you anger, but the next time you discard a card from your handless combat, you get a draw card, so it incentivizes you to use the mastery to draw and replace the card you got rid of. Orange Beatdown is really good because your drills can't leave play and you gain two anger, so you can use this card, level up, and your drills will not go away as you're leveling up uh, like they traditionally would. As well as... Uh, if you need, you know, you need to protect your drills in your opponent's next action, then this is another way to protect them, even if you aren't leveling up. Orange Uppercut, this has been uh, errated, so it's a limit one, but it's a really good limit one where you can, it's a physical attack, you can pay two stages, then you can search your life deck for an energy combat card. Uh, it can be a variety of energy attacks, it could be a variety of uh, your blocks that block energies. 
Uh, but mainly you have two targets that you're usually going to shoot for. One is Orange Stare Down, where it's board management from your opponent, and you get to banish that opponent's card uh, from the board. Or Orange Bicycle Kick. An Orange Bike Kick is a great way to cycle out some of those infinite drills, or let's say you've used the block drills, you use Crying Drill, you can tuck those back into the deck to pull out some of your other infinite drills. Uh, for example, if you're going physical or energies, there's a drill we're about to highlight that you can grab because it has the infinite effect on it. And so just a great way to start comboing extra attacks as well as a good card in uppercut that lets you kind of maneuver the way you need to during combat. Uh, one thing to mention too is orange uppercut only grabs, uh, has been eroded to only grab styled energy combat cards as well. Of course, like Jeff said, we are going to have kind of two build paths. Uh, you can choose the physical route or the energy route. Um, for the physical route, we recommend you run Orange Disaster Drill. This is going to make all your styled physical attacks still two extra stages of damage and gain Racer Anger 1. Again, we are trying to be an Anger build, so that extra Anger 1 can go a long way in combat. Uh, we recommend Orange Elbow Rush. This is a Drill Search card. Um, it is essentially the parallel to Orange PowerPoint. And of course, it does give some Anger as well. Uh, we also have Orange Collision, another card that grabs drills, has some Anger on it. Uh, charge Kick has got some really cool uh, uses within uh, Orange Energetic. Uh, you're going to raise your anger to immediate and destroy one of your drills, and if on hit, you're going to return that drill to your hand. Uh, what's really nice about this is you're going to destroy the drill, put it in your hands, you could potentially pitch to the mastery, which if, uh, you know, reading the mastery, when you discard a card, if the card that you discarded was styled, you get to raise your lower player's anger one, so it's another way to get an extra action in combat um, for some extra anger as well. So if you go the energy route of attacks, so we suggest Orange Captivity Drill, energy combat cards, gain hit, raise anger one and gain three stages, so some more anger as well as stage gain. Uh, if you go this route, then Orange Power Point, as said before, is a match with Elbow Rush, grabbing a drill from the deck. Orange Rage is just a good energy attack, gaining two anger, which is a parallel to Orange Charge Kick. Uh, orange Fierce Attack, making your damage on preventables, just really good. As well as if it hits, you also gain Anger, and you have plenty of other Anger in your other energy attacks. And then Orange Eruption, just a cheap, free energy attack with Raise Anger 2, Lower Anger 2. So just some ways to get some quick anti-Anger as well as Raise Anger using some of the energy attacks. Moving on to our blocks, uh, we're prioritizing mostly anger. Uh, we have orange energy catch and orange energy absorption, both of which are going to give you an anger. They have some endurance on them. And energy absorption, of course, giving you some stages um, should you need that. Of course, we run orange refocus. Um, this card is going to be able to get those drills as you're leveling back out of your pile and gives you some anger. And we recommend orange sidestep because this has some nice synergy with the mastery. Um, you are going to uh, banish this card instead. Uh, uh, instead of just discarding. So if you do discard this card of the mastery, um, you do not get the anger on it because it checks if you have discarded a card, uh, styled card, and you've banished it instead. But you still get to perform the attack, and if you have a nice card on the bottom of your discard pile, you get to draw that card and put it in your hands. So again, if you, um, you know, you might lose the anger on the mastery, but you might gain a more powerful card to draw, such as like a, you know, an uppercut or whatever anger card that you want to see. Um, so. Of course, we want to put in time as well as confrontations. Uh, if you run a more uh, unleashed build, you can consider some spheres or maybe confrontations and spheres. Then we also recommend that you run Orange Juke because you are leveling. That means you're not going to be keeping your drills as often. So Juke is a great way to get those drills back out while also blocking an attack. And then Orange Meditation, currently a limit two, but way too good not to run, uh, particularly against MPPV decks where you change, they gain anger, they're about to level, change that amount to zero, and then set both the angers to zero. So even though we're trying to level up as well through anger, you just need to play smart, play around it, keep this card, and then use it at a key moment to prevent your opponent from leveling up. And then, as well as you can discard the card um, to do an energy attack, and that can also stack well with stretch. Stretch does not check if you've discarded a card from the mastery. It can be any discard effect. You can stretch into a discard of meditation if you're not going up against an MPPV deck to get that extra card draw. Of course, as you're kind of moving in with your build, once you've kind of chosen your path between physical and energy attacks, uh, you can 
consider some of these other drills that we have placed here. Uh, we have Orange Snoozing Drill. This is great if you're going more of the Stage Beats matchup. Um, if you want to kind of supplement as a backup when condition survival, um, it's really nice. It does have a when rejuvenated effect to lower your opponent's anger too, which is really nice with things like um, Bicycle Kick. That turns into a lower four anger uh, action, um, as well as if you're comboing with other cards that would just rejuvenate this drill from a zone. Um, and it does stop players from getting stages, so while it does shut off your mastery and some of your cards you might want to be running, um, in certain matchups this is just very, very pivotal in keeping the pressure. Um, if you go on the energy route, we recommend Aura Drill, um, just an extra way to kind of uh, supplement what you're doing. You know, pushing anger and survival is never bad. On the same note, Joint Restraint Drill is the physical variant, um, plus two stages in all of your attacks. And finally, Orange Freezing Drill, um, if you're really committing to kind of going more aggro, uh, this is a good option. Um, it does stop your attacks from uh, being modified by your opponent's card effects. Um, and attacks can only be stopped by physical and energy combat cards. So Time is a Warrior's Tool and like Juke are going to be turned off. Same with your two block drills, your um, Steady and your Aura Drill. But it's something to consider in matchups such as like Namekian um, or Ally matchups or uh, decks that are going to be used Time is a Warrior's Tool. Some non-styled cards to consider in the deck. Uh, Devastating Blow, just a really great card for a physical deck. Uh, raising Anger 1, lower Anger 2, and then choosing three cards in your opponent's discard pile and, and banishing them. Not a ton of damage, but the utility of this card and preventing your opponent from using cards in a discard pile is just too good not to consider or run, especially if you go the physical build. Shoulder Slam, if you feel like you need some extra anti-anger and just some more damage. Heroic Dashing Punch, if you're a hero, just again... Just to build your own anger, cause your opponent to skip, which then lets you build up some more anger. As well as if it hits, it's a good anti-anger for your opponent. Just be wary that all damage that combat is banished, so you don't want to go too aggro <laughs> and, and lose some of your own cards. I'll Dig Your Grave, just a great way to have unpreventable damage. Uh, in the physical build, this is really good, because you don't have orange fierce attack uh, for your other styled attack, so Dig just covers it all. And then you can always consider on the move. Again, just be cautious if you're using Freezing Drill or maybe some other things, but an extra draw and stage gain is never bad. Some physical attacks, again, more stuff to supplement. Um, if you want to maybe cut out some of the anger physical attacks to run a little bit more um, beady, you have you do have combo cards like Rising Punch will um, gives you the ability to draw a card next time your opponent changes levels. So if you want to maybe take this card over, some anger hate options and just brace people, um, Rising Punch is always a good option. Uh, and Rage Bash is a great way to get your drills back into your deck if you're running some more of the drill searching cards uh, from the life deck. And at worst, on hit, it does allow you to get some of those banished drills out um, should you have a bad dashing punch um, combat or if somebody banishes your drills. Um, also has great synergy with things like Sneezing Drill for an Anger 2 lower option. Uh, knee Strike, again, if you want some more Anger Hate and you don't want to run the Freestyle Anger cards uh, and Anger Hate cards, this is always a good option, as well as a good beat card and saving cake as well um, again most of the utility on anti-anger in orange is going to be coming from the energies or sorry the physical tax and a lot of the freestyle physical tax so something to consider if you're running the orange build is to um, maybe splash something along the line in or just know that that might be a weakness of yours some other cards to consider is orange sweeping blast just rejuvenating your own drills before you level up as well as preventing non-styled cards from being played by your opponent uh, what, a physical block that you could sub in is Orange Wrist Block. Just again, some ways to deal some extra stage damage. Uh, if you're feeling like you need to gain your own stages for the energy build, you can always run Orange Swerve, as well as destroying a drill and then recuperating it somehow, either through the MP or other cards. This is a great one to add some stage gain for the energy one. And then Orange Dismissal, if you feel like you need an energy block to just cycle out some of those drills. Uh, entanglement to get it out and do another block or rejuve or any of the parenthetical drills or even just sub a drill that is currently in your uh, out on the board for one of the block drills that you put back into the deck using a bicycle kick. And finally, um, Orange Sword Shop is its own neat little option. Um, you can run this in a lot of different orange decks. But um, this definitely applies maybe a bit more if you are the physical build. Um, Orange Sword Shop on hit allows you to grab a named or styled event. So if you're playing an MP with a named event, um, like such as Goku, for example, this is really fun. Uh, but on hit, of course, our styled options that we recommend if you want to try this combo piece out is going to be Orange Luxury and Orange Blazing Aura. 
Um, you can also go grab things like Juke as well uh, and Meditation. So very, very high utility card, but of course Luxury is another card that allows you to dig in your deck, um, drawing and discarding. And then we have Blazing Aura, which is another way to just kind of search out the drills. And because of its uh, when attached effect, it does allow you to uh, take a drill from your discard power and rejuvenate it. So making sure that the drills are back in the deck for searching. Now with an energetic deck, there are a lot of MPs that you can run. It's a very easy to adapt mastery. Uh, but some of the three that we'd like to highlight, uh, number one is Vegito. Vegito came out with the Mastery uh, in Fusion, and obviously at the beginning when he came out, <laughs> Energetic and Vegito were very broken. A lot of synergy going on here. Uh, since then, he has been nerfed, so we have the, the most recent version of him here, but still a very strong deck uh, overall with this Mastery. And so with Vegito, you have... Um, various discard effects on each of his levels that when you discard a card you get to do some extra bonus triggers which synergize really well with the mastery and some of the other cards that you can run that cause you to discard one card from your hand uh, such as luxury um, as well as uh... possession, drill. <laughs> possession drill if you discard a drill uh, and a few of, and even meditation that's what i was thinking of yes sir and so with his level one, if you use that attack, you have a way to protect your drills while leveling up. If you get to two, you have a way to search from the life deck some more drills. Once you get to three, your drills are not discarded when advancing or lowering from this level, so you may lose the drills on two, but once you get to three, you're pretty much good to have them out. Uh, as well as you search the life deck for more drills, and then you can even rejuvenate some cards from the discard pile. And then level four, Again, search any of your zones for a drill and place it into play. Uh, so a great way to keep some of those drills out, keep the pressure, and keep the anger going. And as we mentioned, the discard effect on level 1 and level 3 is to draw a card to raise your anger 1. On level 2, you get some rejuvenation when you discard a card. As well as level 3, you get a draw card and some rejuvenation, but you get to choose what cards you rejuvenate. Vegeta right now only has one uh, named card, Effortless Defense, but it's a really good named card. <laughs> Not only is it a way to block any kind of attack through this event, uh, but you may also discard a card from your hand to use it a second time and gain some anger. So this can even trigger Vegito's own thing. So you could have used the Mastery on one level, level up, then use Effortless Defense to trigger another discard on a different level. Uh, if you discard a drill, you get to place it into play. So it's a great way to hand filter as well to get some drills out on the board. Since Vegito is a Saiyan personality, you can run Orange Spine Kick. Just another way to get rid of allies, as well as to end combat if you want, or just to create a way for you to have two actions. And then Singing Drill, uh, a drill that was considered really bad for a really long time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, until Vegito came out, where the drill is considered styled, and when it enters play, and it's the first time that a singing drill has come out into play, uh, during that turn, you can discard a card from hand to draw a card, and if it's during combat, you can trigger all of Vegito's shenanigans, and mm. on that level one even, if you comes in, then you can use that to draw one card from Vegito, draw another card from singing drill, discard one of those cards. Anyways, it gets crazy. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, of course, um, we have uh, Villain Boo is kind of another uh, one of those MPs that has some uh, synergy with discard effects, um, depending on which stack you pick. Really, uh, with Villain Boo, you really kind of have three different routes to go. Um, you can pick the original Fat Boo stack, where you get to start the game with his name setups out of your deck. And then you have uh, Candy Beam Live as a board hate uh, card, as well as some little attachment hate um, if it's knocked out of your deck by an effect or by damage. And of course, there's a rejuvenation to kind of help you keep in the game a bit more and some anger gain on the lower levels as well. You can go into the uh, Super Boo where you're kind of more, a little bit more reactive, and then you do have a little bit of anger gain. You hit level two with the Super Boo stack and you go get to search out his uh, named drill, which is Boo's Absorbing Gel, which is a nice supplement to the blocking drills um, in orange. 
that already exist, not to mention it is uh, potentially allowing you to copy and tack. There is, of course, anger gain on this level too. That's uh, situational, same with the level one, much like the Fapu stack. And then if you get into the three and four, um, actually all these levels really have, uh, sorry, the one, three, and four, when you would discard a card, you reveal it instead. Um, so you won't get the anger off of the mastery, but it is just a free way to just drop an extra attack. And then uh, also work with some of your discard effects, such as like Orange Luxury, if you wanted to run that with Boo as well. Um, or if you were going to do like an Orange Possession drill. Um, I think, I believe Meditation still works with level three and one, three, and four as well. You still get the attack if you've discarded it. So it's an extra way to maybe pop off an Orange Meditation as an attack. Um, but then you also get to, on uh, your three and four and super boot get to go search discard piles and copy those attacks so again just a consistent way to get maybe pop off those uh energy attacks and uh, physical attacks that give you anger and then finally if you really want to you can play the kid boo three and four where you're just a beat monster and you're just going to slowly grind people with um, unpreventable damage and banishment from the pile and from the life deck so just more options for you really um really whatever you're feeling like. Again, if you do run Boo, um, if you're running the Fat Boo at least, you'll want to consider running Cookie, Candy, and Chocolate because they start in, in your banner zone and make Candy Beam live. If you want to splash this with some of the other boost stack, or the other boost stack like Super Boo, do note that you're going to have to like get these out of your deck um, on its own way. And then of course the Boo Absorbing Drill has best synergy with the Super Boo stack because you get to search it on level two and on level four potentially uh, as well. Kid Boo has no synergy with any of these cards directly, but they're just options for you should you find yourself wanting more board hate. My personal favorite levels to run with Boo is, is level 1 and 2 of Fat Boo, and level 3 and 4 of Super Boo to optimize that anger gain. But that's me. <laughs> I totally, and I totally agree with Jeff here. That was what I would recommend myself, so... <laughs> Then lastly, our third character uh, we would recommend, and just a fun character overall that uh, we want to highlight is Cooler. Where Cooler, we would use the new level 1, given in set 15, and then as levels 2 through 4 from set 6. Where with Cooler, uh, that when you rejuvenate a card during combat, you may banish it instead to raise your anger 2, so you've got some conditional anger gain as well as an energy attack that discards a card from your hand, so you have a way to trigger that discard effect going on before the attack even hits, and if it hits, you get some rejuve, but you also have other cards in the deck that rejuvenate as well. And then if you get to level 2, if you take damage that wasn't prevented, you may raise your anger 1, and just a beefy 5 life physical attack that rejuves 2, and you have some discard outlet there as well if you need it. So if you accidentally draw a drill, you can get rid of those drills, see what other cards you can get. Cooler level 3. When you reach this level, you get to search your banish zone for a card and rejuvenate it. So it's a good way to get drills back, some of your key attacks, maybe a meditation that you used to prevent your opponent from MPPV. And then whenever you take damage, you rejuve one. And then another beefy 6 life energy attack that rejuves 3. And then if you get to Cooler level 4, um, you can use his uh, power once per game, where you can lower your MP one level to rejuve 7 and end combat. However, with Cooler level 4, and we are running an Anger build, that whenever a player, you or your opponent, gains Anger, you rejuve 1. So you can really just start scooping your life deck back up and get those numbers really high in the late game. And then Cooler himself has two name cards. Uh, Cooler's Rebirth, if this card is discarded from your hand during combat, rejuve it. So you can discard this from Mastery, cause the rejuve, gain some anger, do an attack, gain some more. <laughs> well, you wouldn't gain the third anger from the Mastery, but you get the idea. Or you can use this uh, when taking damage from an attack, and it's not an event, so it can't be sphered or interrupted that you can rejuvenate two styled cards from your banner zone, and then you place this card on top of your life deck. So just a good way to recoup it, not only this card, but also to prep some endurance if you need it. Then Cooler Supernova. Uh, energy attack costing three stages, damage can't be prevented, six life, raise anger two. Like, just a lot. And then it's not Banish after use, so it's going to go to the discard pile, or if it's a discard pile from damage. Uh, when entering combat, you may rejuvenate that card 
in order to destroy a setup or drill. Uh, just be careful that if you do rejuvenate this card and you are the only one with drills out, you will have to blow up one of your own drills. So you can't just name a setup and hope. <laughs> um, sadly, Supernova does not synchronize with the level one because level one has rejuve has to happen during combat. Correct. But you can pitch the rebirth um, to the level one power on the discard, and immediately when you would rejuvenate it, you can just banish it instead to trigger level uh, one to get two anger, which is really neat. But yeah, these are the three MPs that I, uh, I think me and Jeff here kind of talked about and discussed. We think are some of the best fits for energetic. Um, otherwise, anybody with like a nice discard outlet on their MP is always good. Any MP with some anger support also works uh, very well as well. So I hope this has been insightful for anybody that wants to try out energetic mastery. And uh, Jeff, I don't know if you have any closing comments. It's a really fun mastery, especially if that's successful. The gaining stages in anger can really sneak up on people. Um, right now, Aura is all the orange craze, but I think Energetic is still really strong, uh, particularly with as MPs get stronger, this mastery will never be bad. <laughs> no. Um, always know no. this is a two anger master, just like Ascension, so keep that in mind uh, when you're playing yep. against it and with it. So, Well, anyway, guys, uh, it's been fun. Check out more beginner builds, of course, coming as soon as me and Jeff have the time to record some more. And anyway, guys, take it easy. Peace. Good luck and happy building.